Hello and welcome back. In this session, we're going to talk about cases. Cases are used for customer support issues and an account can have many cases, but a case can only have one account. Likewise, a contact can have many cases, but a case can only have one contact. Cases can be arranged in a hierarchy, just like accounts, and they can also feature the path component, which will show a visual representation of the case's status. Paths are usually aligned with support processes, which are reflective of case statuses. You can also enable and add case teams to cases, which again functions much like account teams and opportunity teams. They allow multiple users to work together on a case and you can specify the level of access that they have. You can create case queues, which work very much like lead queues as a holding area. And until cases have an owner, they would just sit in that queue waiting to be picked up. You could then assign cases to queues or to users using case assignment rules. So let's head into Salesforce and let's take a closer look. So here we are in Salesforce and we're going to head to the cases tab. From here, we're just going to open up one of our cases. So let's take a look at what we can see here. We can see the highlight panel. We can see the object specific actions here. And if we had a path component that would generally be found here, although a path can be placed anywhere you want on a page, but generally they're placed in this position here. We can also see the feed tab, the related tab, and all the details related to this case. Now, if we had a case hierarchy, we'd be able to see the hierarchy button here. But to do that, we'd need to have the permanent case field on cases so we could actually create those case hierarchies. Now, I would strongly recommend that you add the path component to this page because it will really help users visualize the case status. So before we move on, let's have a quick recap of cases. Cases are just customer support issues and an account can have many cases, but cases can only have one account. Contacts can have many cases, but cases can only be related to one contact. You can use the case hierarchy function if you wanted to build a hierarchy of a parent case and child cases. But to do that, you would need to add the parent case field. We can also add the path to the page and that would show case statuses which are reflective of the support process. We can also add case teams. And again, just like account teams and opportunity teams, we can add individual team members or a default team. And we can also specify their level of access. Cases can be assigned to queues automatically, and that will be done using case assignment rules. 